Hello, my name is Ernie Bell from the University of Maryland. Our study examines the correlation between magnetic anomalies and the geomorphology of terrestrial lava tubes and uses this as an analog to applying similar methods to prospecting for subsurface voids on the Moon. The motivation for our study is twofold. From a scientific perspective, lava tubes provide pathways that extend the range covered by lava flows, but it is often difficult to determine their scope. Geophysical techniques, such as magnetic surveys, provide methods to realize the extent of lava tube systems. From a lunar exploration standpoint, lava tubes are a potential resource to provide human crews shelter from radiation, meteoroids, and large thermal fluctuations. Additionally, on the Moon, lava tubes can provide access to geologic sites that are likely unaltered from their emplacement. There are two primary geophysical problems that we attempt to address. First, we look to augment the ability for external mapping of lava tubes. Secondly, we examine the ability to characterize the internal geomorphology using magnetic surveys. We hypothesize that the magnetic anomalies produced by a lava tube can be related to a combination of the geometry and depth of the tube. The field site for our study is Lava Beds National Monument, California. We examine three intact portions of the Modoc Crater Lava Tube System, known as Incline, Skull, and Ship Caves. We collect detailed magnetic surveys and LiDAR mapping of each lava tube and the above ground surface topography. For our analysis, the observed magnetic anomaly and the geometry of the tube is related using an idealized model of a cylindrical lava tube. In this model, the magnetic anomaly is proportional to an equivalent magnetic susceptibility multiplied by a geometric ratio of the cross-sectional area over the depth to lava tube center. Plots of Skull Cave's magnetic anomaly, along with a regularized point cloud model based on the LiDAR data, are shown. In this analysis, we determine the strongest negative anomaly and a geometric ratio for each one meter slice along the lava tube axis. Here I have circled the Skull Cave data. The data was then binned at regular increments of the geometric ratio. The resulting best fit linear regression line was used to determine the equivalent susceptibility of 0.155. This equivalent susceptibility was used to produce the magnetic anomaly map for the 3D regularized point cloud model of each lava tube. The resulting magnetic anomaly map of the model of Skull Cave is shown here. These result, model results were analyzed in the same fashion as the observed data to validate the use of this relationship for lava tubes. The result is an equivalent susceptibility of 0.167, which is a difference of only 8% from that used to produce the model. In conclusion, the maximum negative magnetic anomaly above a lava tube can be correlated to its geometric ratio of cross-sectional area and depth to center. This method can envelope lava tube geometry and, when combined with additional data, can help to evaluate lava tubes on the moon against selection criteria to determine if they would be targets for more extensive scientific investigation or exploration utilization.